definitely hard to breathe here. Good. You okay? I'll be. My very first race weekend was a trial of fire. Everything that could have happened to make my first experience more difficult and challenging happened. We have a car that relies on ABS and it failed. I'm a sim racer who always practiced in the dry, including my first practice and qualifying in that race weekend in real life, and it rained in the race. Three spins or crashes happened right in front of me and we were freaking hit by a tornado. But the most important thing for me was, can I bring this car back in one piece? Session. Uh, this time we won't have any time to waste because we're gonna have some hours of practice. We gotta test the car, we gotta test the new tires, we gotta run the track. We got 20 minutes. We're racing for Apex V2R, a racing team that focuses on the bridge between sim racing and real racing. We're racing in the Super Production Challenge Canada Championship, and there were freaking 46 cars registered for this weekend. My first test session was surprisingly the scariest. I didn't know how the car would behave without ABS, and a friend that has a similar car told me that the BRZ without ABS has a very front biased balance. As soon as I started braking into turn 5 here at Mossport, I dramatically felt how easy it was to lock the front tires. From there, I was trying to adapt and prevent the locking, but my confidence levels were already really down because of the whole new experience. It's definitely hard to breathe here. Good. Adrenaline kicks in, you'll be breathing, no problem. I don't think, I think your ABS light's on, so something's going on in the system. I think your traction control is off. And the ABS as well? Yes. Okay. So you got nothing. Okay. It's closer to peak up now, anyway. Yep. <laughs> Good luck, dude. On my very first run, all I did was try to feel the grip levels. The best way to do that is to actually be careful on the entry, and then you force a little bit of rotation towards the apex to feel how much the car can rotate for you. And then after you get the sensation of how much the car can rotate, we start carrying a little bit more and more speed. What really gets me here is how quickly I'm looking around. I'm so scared, I'm so focused that my eyes are moving around trying to figure out where to look. One big difference between sim racing and real racing is how far the side mirrors are because in iRacing for example I'm only using the virtual mirror with a pretty high FOV which gives me a good view and I don't have to look to the sides too much so I'm basically looking forward and almost not even looking up because my peripheral vision is doing its job but in real life the upper mirror is not enough you actually have to look to the side mirrors a lot
first practice session, I was around 2 seconds lower per lap than my teammate Nathan Block, who is a real life driver with more than 15 years of experience. He was my benchmark. Our car was not competitive for the first round of this championship because we had a problem with the turbos, which cost around 2 seconds per lap against the top 3 competitors in our class. But since we had identical cars, I used him as a benchmark during the entire weekend. Not only slower in lap times, I was ridiculously careful with traffic. My spatial awareness was being developed as I drove through the session, but I preferred to be much more on the safe side until I gained confidence and my body got used to the real thing. During the first test session, my teammate lapped a 139.7 and I lapped a 141.5. I was almost 2 seconds slower. On the first qualifying session, I was able to improve all the way to 139.5, which was 3 tenths slower than him. I was super proud to improve like that in basically one day, and the team were impressed that I was able to be 3 tenths slower on a car without ABS and TC. And that alone is a huge success on my race weekend. The weekend consists of 3 races, but the first race lasted only 5 corners for everyone because of a bad accident that happened and caused a red flag. So we were waiting for the race 2 on that same day, but this happened. Look at that! Nathan! Up front. It is the what is that? We literally got like that's, a... That's a tornado. We're going to race in a tornado probably. Our race is in like two hours and we got a tornado alert. Everyone got a tornado alert in their phones. Yeah. That's probably not it. I'm not going to lie. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy Sunday, race 3, in the rain. I have absolutely no experience with the rain, so because of that I am definitely decidedly not going to be competitive because all I want to do is absorb, understand how the car is going to behave and then if possible maybe fight for a position here and there. So here we go for the start of the race and you can already see that I'm really not there. Literally, I'm scared of being too closed and you know just not confident enough to be competitive so I'm leaving space on the beginning of the race and you can see how people are already passing me. But then right immediately we already get a yellow flag and we saw a crash there, car is crashed on the, on the left and I, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a yellow flag, a full course yellow. So I'm kind of slowing down but then I realized that people are racing so I'm like okay so I should race, let's go racing. And then I'm trying to you know go a little bit quicker but I know that here on the inside on this uh, black part um, we actually have less grip so I was like really not confident on getting back on power knowing that the car did not have the traction control. So I'm trying, you can see like lifting and then finally when I get on the pave on a straight line I finally accelerate and here we are trying to, you know, pass the guys on the outside. Everyone is a little bit scared, you know, so I'm trying to at least follow the flow and, you know, trying to feel the grip. You see my throttle is like hesitant, getting back on power, expecting anything unpredictable to happen, just like really ready for anything here. I know that I'm on the part that does not have a lot of grip. I get back on power and ooh, lose a little bit of grip, but all good so far. The Mini on my left has a lot of power, so definitely they will pass me here. As you can see, I don't have the torque. They break early and I try to kind of get side by side, but I'm also afraid. Uh, I don't know how much the car is gonna grip here on this uh, flat out T4, well, flat out on the dry. And I'm really over slowing because I, I, I really don't want to try anything stupid on lap one. I really need to feel what what is the limit for this car under, under the wet. What is the limit? So as long as I don't feel exactly when the car is going to start sliding, I won't try anything stupid. I won't fi fight for position. At this point here, we actually realize that we have a double yellow. So this is a full course yellow. Now we are about to do the restart, we are going to try to be a little bit closer but still I'm leaving too much space on the beginning, on the restart, I should be on their bumpers trying to already fight for position by corner one, but I don't do that because I'm still 
in my head thinking about how much grip this car has thinking about where i'm going to lock up my front tires where i'm going to lose the rear you know i was just expecting the worst i was afraid and i was trying my best to feel the grip to make sure that i understand where is the, where is the limit before i tried anything and because i was thinking so much about that again you can see me not being competitive so let's go to the restart of the race as you can see too much space and but this time I, i'm a little bit more confident let's go for it i turn in slightly on the racing line so no grip there and this happens guy spun and turned back to the racing line at the start and because of that you can see the guys from this lower class actually passing me on lap one on corner one so right now i am behind this lower class so i'm thinking okay sure this is totally fine i'm gonna pass them but then i realized how confident these guys are on the corners uh, with those light cars in the rain they were actually cornering quicker than me i was trying to just stay with them for now you can see how my class is kind of disappearing at this point and one more car p1 p2 and p3 passed me so here i am i see you see you can definitely see how much speed i have on the straight but again i won't try anything stupid yet i'm just gonna follow them because there's a huge straight right after and i'm gonna be able to pass them okay let's pass them and they decide to do a freaking three wide in front of me yeah, I'm waiting. yeah waiting could have passed them way earlier if i had done the t5 more quickly so here i'm trying to pass the guy on the inside we're double file file and then this happens the very same moment i undershear he's overshearing and we get that close call there Whoop. you can see that immediately i lift and correct my rotation and he gets back on power and corrects his rotation as well it was just a close call but we're good these guys are p1 2 and 3 they are having a very intense race and i don't want to ruin this dirt race because I mean, just because I want to catch P13 in my class. As you can see, these guys are really sending it. Finally, I get like a single file that I can actually pass them. So here we go. I'm passing them. It's all good. Here, here we can definitely see. You can see how we have the older part, which is wet. Then we have the drier part of the older part. And then we have the darker, newly paved patch here. So... What we want to do in the rain is put the outside tires on the dry, old, paved part. So we do not want to put the outside tires here. Because if we do that, we're going to have half the grip and the car is actually going to slide out. You can definitely feel the difference in grip. It's crazy. Uh, so you really have to have a better eye. Vision here is ridiculously important to put the tires on the right place here. You can see how I got back on power just ever so slightly and i actually lost the rear because of that like just a tiny bit Whoop. almost nothing and i lose the rear here you can see me going to the outside part and having no grip and having to wait 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 and then finally get back on power here when i realize that i am not going to spin and die and here no almost no braking because i know that the abs is not working and the car is falling now the compression again just getting back on power allowing the car to run wide and feeling the grip really trying to feel as much as possible now i'm trying to put the car on the outside but i fail as you can see i'm still on the inside and there you go a little bit of power and boom no grip so i failed completely and i felt it but i needed to feel that because this is my first time actually feeling how it is to put your tires on the part with the rubber in the rain so here we are starting to spot another brz that is ahead of me and this is actually from my same class so it looks like i'm at least catching someone and i'm gonna try my best to fight for position so i'm trying to get closer and closer and closer and see what happens maybe it's gonna be an opportunity for me to practice racecraft in the rain and i'm feeling okay i'm getting confident i'm actually getting more confidence now because i see that i'm closing to another car from the same category and then this happens so they lost a little bit they understeered and they braked and i was like okay this is my chance so 
here I go for my very first pass <laughs> in my life. But it was actually because of a mistake from another car, so I won't be too happy about it. But it was my first pass indeed. So I'm trying to gain a little bit more confidence. I'm gonna break a little bit later. Let's see what happens. And I lock up. I lock up bad. And you don't even hear it because this light is so smooth. You're sliding in the water. I was using this race as a practice. And I'm thinking about everything until this happens. And I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. So that's P1 from the compact class. They actually spun. Um, well, not my fault. I'm good with that. I was actually five seconds per lap slower than my teammate. Uh, considering that he had ABS and traction control, that maybe play a little bit of a role in that. But I'm pretty sure a big chunk of that was just driving skill in the rain. Uh, he, I mean, he's a real life driver with lots of experience in the rain. So because of that, I was just, uh, you know, already expecting that difference in performance to be pretty uh, insane. I think he finished P8 and I finished P12 in this race. And that sets, that's it, my very first race finish. I brought the thing in one piece and I'm really, really looking forward for the next races. I absorbed as much as possible from this experience and now what we need to do is try to push the bar a little bit higher for the next race weekend. So now we are already, you know, getting used to everything and I have to be more and more and more competitive. So that's it. I am looking forward to living all that for the second round recording it and then sharing it with you guys and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much and i'll see you in the near future bye